You already brought up Lat Murray. So let's talk about the curious case that is Latavius Murray. La, uh, la, la, Latavius. So Latavius Murray it was basically widely dropped in the last week, uh, including by me. Um, and yeah, we both did it in two different leagues. Well, I was sitting there Sunday, just going through my lineups real quick to set them before the noon game started, whatever, made a couple moves, made a trade, and then dropped Lat Murray in the process about, I don't know, seven minutes before I got the sleeper notification that yep. Lat Murray is now uh, going to be featured as the starting running back for the Baltimore Ravens um, moving forward. And then just absolutely being furious with myself for about a half hour on my vacation. But then I said, screw it. Um, however, if and, we're and talking Tyson Williams, not being inactive yeah, just because they want to see Le'Veon Bell. Like what the hell are they doing? Yeah. But I mean, those two Le'Veon and Devonta, I mean, they basically did nothing. Um, nope. Although I will say, Lat Murray has been inefficient too. I mean, he is averaging less than four yards per carry. He turned 18 carries into less than 60 yards against Denver. Granted, he, defense. It is a good defense. And he did get into the end zone. He has three touchdowns in four games. So there is that. Mm -hmm. But he's only gone over 10 points in one of those games. Because again, he's been so ineffective on the ground. Um, I don't, I still don't think he's an exciting ad. It's just the team, the Baltimore Ravens are going to run the ball more than any other team in the league. You want their lead back. He's at least a top. Would you say he's the top 24 rest of the season? If he holds on top, probably top 15. I mean, I, yeah, it, I mean, he doesn't really get any receiving work though. So that automatically limits his upside. Or if he's not going to score a touchdown, he's not going to be, he's not going to have a top 24 week because he's not going to have any catches, right? Yeah. And, and Balt and Baltimore doesn't target their backs, you know, whether we were talking about Gus or JK or whoever, they, they just don't, they don't target their backs out of the backfield. That it's just not part of their offense. So, cause they're, they're always running a misdirection somewhere and the running backs running on the other side of the field. And Lamar's rolling out to the other side one way or the other. So that's why their backs are never getting any catches because they're literally part of the diversion of the play. So, yeah, Lat Murray, three touchdowns, four games. Fantastic. Their schedule's brutal. Like, I, I don't really. So Indy. Chargers, Cincy, they're all at home, all at home, all at home the next three weeks. That's. That's just okay. Um, I He should be added. I think that people of the guys we've talked about, I think because he's more of a known name than the other guys that we're going to talk about, you're going to have to pay more to get him because somebody's going to be like, oh, Latavius Murray. He's owned in 35% of leagues, um, down from 45 a week ago. So basically in one out of every 10 leagues, he got dropped this week and then became the feature back. <laughs> um, yeah, which is really interesting, right? Like that never happens. And you're looking at his numbers; they're very underwhelming. And he's he's probably a ten to fifteen percent fab ad, just because of their offense and him scoring touchdowns, right? Yes. Um, you said ten to fifteen percent fab ad. Yeah. I would easily spend that. I would spend 15 to 20 again. I mean, like he had 18 carries. <laughs> I know. Uh, he's going to have 15 but to 20 I, touches a week. I, I would be shocked <laughs> if Tyson Williams isn't back in some role next week. Well, that, for that. that was my question is, you know, if the Lat Murray mediocrity continues, like, do the Baltimore Ravens have to do something at running back? And like outside of making these, I don't know, I think almost silly signings. Like, are they the team that ponies up and tries to trade for uh, Marlon Mack? 
That's exactly who I was going to say, who was on my list of names that could or should be added this week. 